Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and as always for anyone new to the channel, welcome and my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we're going to be covering some news in regards to online tournaments, Players Cup um, and all things in between. So yesterday we had a tweet out from the Play Pokemon account, the official Play Pokemon account over on Twitter announcing that Players Cup 4 would be taking place and taking place very soon. Now, right now, we are still in the midst of Players Cup 3. Uh, that tournament is still being played out so we don't know the results of that but to have an announcement of Players Cup 4 already is very exciting news it will be coming up in the very near future so we'll go over all the details today about how you can participate all the changes as well that are being made because there are some big updates to the tournament structure in general that I think it warranted a video today just to go through this and try and get some of you that haven't maybe played before a little bit more involved and give you the opportunity to take part in this tournament because it is a lot of fun it's great to do especially because of things that are going on in the world right now we know that real life in you know events aren't taking place at the moment hopefully they will be back soon but in the meantime we have got the ability to take part in official tournaments sanctioned tournaments that uh, makes it very exciting so as you can see uh, this tweet was thrown up 18 hours ago yesterday uh, the play pokemon players cup 4 is coming here we go while at the conclusion of players cup 3 still awaits and the this addition to our digital tournament series will keep Keep up the momentum, decide your path, and hone your skills and become a champion. So very exciting news. If we head over to uh, the actual Pokemon.com website with all the information and all these links, everything that I'm covering today will be down in the description if you want to take a closer look yourself or just have a bit more in-depth read through things, but we'll try and cover as much as we can throughout this video. So kicks off with the fourth installment of the Pokemon Players Cup is an online tournament taking place from April through late July 2021. So quite a a good chunk of time that this tournament will be running players from around the world will have the opportunity to prove their metal as pokemon trainers battle against other trainers around the world to win a share of wait for it wait for it a win a share of 45 thousand dollars in prizes so the big the big news first is we've got some amazing prize support the prize support for players cup one two and three was good but there is drawbacks with that. Top four players only got prizing and they they got an amazing prize. They got uh, a travel award to a future international championship. So an amazing prize. Uh, the prospect of traveling in places like um, South America, Australia, US, you know, phenomenal. And Europe, obviously, for you, uh, you people that aren't in Europe. Um, but I mean, it was really kind of harsh on the players getting top eight top 16 top 32 and in itself getting that far in the tournament even top 32 64 you know that's a massive accomplishment in such a big tournament throughout the world and to kind of leave empty-handed um i'm pleased it's been addressed because it, it gives players something to kind of work towards now forty-five thousand dollars is split over three different formats vg tcg and Pokin. we'll get into the details as we go through the video um and perhaps more importantly bragging rights uh one of the top pokemon trainers in the world and that's what we all want the bragging rights isn't it that's what it's all about you know um Anyway, we'll move on. The fourth Pokemon Players Cup will feature three separate competitions, as we've already mentioned. Pokemon TCG, uh, one for the video game players, and we'll be bringing back Pokemon DX tournament as well, which is amazing news for those Pokemon players out there. So three tournaments running uh, consecutively, which is incredible. Uh, the video game competition will use Pokemon Video Game Championship rules. So we'll get into that as we go through. Participation in the Pokemon Players Cup 4 is limited to Masters Division players only. So if you're a junior or you're a senior and you fall into those uh, age categories unfortunately you're not going to be able to partake and it is a bit it is it is what it is it's unfortunate it's uh, something that's not been able to be i guess you know it's a big tournament and to kind of facilitate every age division across every kind of platform that we've got it's probably just too big an ask so it is unfortunate hopefully that gets addressed in future but you know we're getting improvements each players cup so you've got to think in the future that might be a thing that happens and like i say real life events are coming back soon fingers crossed so that will be not really an issue will it but it is only for masters at this present time across all these different platforms um the players cup four will take place in three phases 
So we'll have an open qualifier, a regional qualifier round, and a global finals round. Uh, be sure to check out the respected Pokemon TCG event, the video game event, and Pokemon D event pages uh, for information, including scheduling, pricing, and more. Uh, the players who come out on top of the qualifier stages will be eligible uh, to compete in the final stage of the Pokemon Players Cup 4 in July. Uh, so that's when the global finals will be taking place. We'll get into the dates in a minute. Uh, matches will be broadcast on the official Pokemon Twitch and YouTube channels. Very exciting. Uh, the streams are always very entertaining. Obviously, we're doing Players Cup 3 right now as it's going on. So it's a very exciting time. And uh, hopefully, you guys catching that will enjoy all the action from Players Cup 3. Make sure to check out the respected Twitch and YouTube channels where they'll be broadcast. Um, and obviously, they're going to be broadcasting this one, which is it you know we want we want that as spectators we want that to be broadcast so we can see all these top players performing at the peak of their game and uh, battling it out to be that number one trainer uh, you can learn more about the stream information uh, from the stream information page and i'm sure that'll be updated soon with players cup 4 because as i say players cup 3 is still ongoing uh qualifying for the players cup for global finals so here we go, getting into the meat and bones of it. From the Players' Cup for regional qualifiers, the following number of players will be selected to compete in the finals. So we'll skip trading card and, and poker because we're going to concentrate a little bit more on the VG because that's predominantly what we do here on the channel. Uh, but they're pretty much the same across the board excluding Pokemon but like I say all the information is going to be linked down below uh, so for the VG side of it four players from each region will progress to the global finals you're going to have four players from the US four players from Europe four players from Latin America and four players from Oceania so uh, very exciting so it'll be 16 players in total going to the grand finals and then we'll get down to the prizing so prizing for VG first place is going to get five thousand dollars nice very nice very nice very nice then as you can see it increments down second place 3500 third place 2500 fourth place 2000 uh fifth place and i imagine this is fifth to uh fifth and sixth get 1250 seventh eighth get 750 9th to 13th or 9th to 12th get 500 and then 13th i would imagine down to uh 16th we'll get 250 dollars so very good i mean amazing that you're going to be able to get these prizes the only thing i would like to say is what i would love to see is and i'm sure it can be done the prizes are amazing i'm not complaining but i've had conversation with a very close friend of mine about this you know you want a trophy if you do well you want a trophy you want something to be able to keep i would love to see them integrate a trophy into this you know if it's just for top four uh just to have a trophy sent to you you know take some money off the prizing i'm sure every player competing would say take some of my prize money back and give me a trophy as well as the prize money you know it's just that commemorative kind of something physical to keep to put on display to show an achievement there and that's the, that would be my only thing this is an amazing step forward but pokemon tournaments have always had trophies always had trophies um so you know people love putting them on display putting the bricks on display putting the nice trophies on display that would be something personally i would like to see brought in anyway they're the prizing so uh, eligible players who qualify for the regional qualifiers for the pokemon tcc or video game competition uh, and also have a pokemon tcc online account will receive a special in-game deck box and card sleeves so uh, there's there's uh, it looks like we're getting freebies i don't know <laughs> does it uh, players must have logged into their pokemon tcc uh, online account with participating pokemon trainer club account at least once prior to the start of the regional qualifiers in order to receive these items they will not be rector rector uh, react um i can't even read i can't read i do have issues uh, granted if players do not complete this step it's on the page if you want to read it okay uh, good luck in the pokemon players come for so it looks like uh, eligible players who qualify in the region finals for Pokemon TCG video game competition uh, or global finals for Pokemon DX and also have a Pokemon online account will receive a special in-game deck box. So all everyone that qualifies for the um, for the regional qualifiers excluding Pokemon D Pokemon DX get a regional deck box. So make sure that you've got your, your details updated on the Pokemon 
Uh, your account page. Right, now let's get over to the meat and bones of this for the video game because that's what we're going to be concentrating on today. Uh, this is the VG page. Again, it'll be linked down in the description below. Master's Division Pokemon trainers competing in the fourth Pokemon Players Cup for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will battle through several tournament phases. Battles in each phase will adhere to current Pokemon World Championship uh, rules. So... Going into the qualifiers, we'll be in Series 8 because the qualifiers are going to run from, I think, the 9th of April, like it states here, till the 11th of April. So that is still going to be Series 8. One restricted Pokemon current rule set right now. Then we're going to be moving into Series 9, which from all accounts, I understand it's going to be reverting back to Series 7 rules. But let's not make assumptions until we've got a fully confirmed announcement on what will be taking place for Players' Cup. You would imagine it'll be Series 7 for the regional qualifiers and global finals. But we don't know. We don't know until there's that confirmation. But they are going to follow the, the current video game championship rules. So that's that's the confirmation. That's confirmation that that's what they'll be doing. But we haven't got the confirmation of what those rules will be just yet. Uh, in the first phase, players will compete to maximize their placement in the Players' Cup qualifier. Uh, so that is going to be an online event, uh, like an uh, international challenge, which will be run over an, a weekend, you know? So run from Friday to a Sunday evening. You're going to have 15 battles per day, and you're going to be able to to uh, try and get as high a rank as possible. Normally something like 1700 is pretty safe if you can rank up to that, pretty safe. And then you can stop and you can be pretty sure and known that you've qualified in your region. That may vary, of course, don't take that as verbatim. So, um, which will take place from Friday, April the 9th uh, through to Sunday, April the 11th. Uh, the top players by rating zone after removing ineligible players will advance to be able to register for the Pokemon Players Cup regional qualifiers. Uh, players ha must have opted into the player Pokemon terms of use and have their player ID. Uh, players will also need to link their Nintendo account to their Pokemon Trainer Club account before the competition is eligible. So this is the biggest takeaway from this video that you will have. If you're going to listen to me about anything before entering this tournament, please let it be this one thing. On this page, it's in the description. I'll link the page to go and link your accounts as well. Before you register for the tournament, what you need to do is make sure that your Play, play account is linked to your Nintendo account and you can do this through this link here. It will take you to another page and it will it will take you step by step through how to do this and make sure because if you aren't having the if your accounts aren't linked then you will be an ineligible player doesn't matter how high you rank you'll be taken out and you won't progress in the tournament so please remember to do this before you register for the tournament okay so uh, the first phase is obviously the qualifying stage um, and the qualifying players from each region. North America are going to have 256 players, Europe 256, Latin America 256 and Oceania 128. So in June and July, these players will compete in a regional qualifier. So the players that qualify from this, this online tournament here, the top 256 from each region, excluding Oceania 128, will then progress in June and July. Uh, to complete in their respected regional qualifiers within their uh, within their region rating zone. Um, for new players, uh, Cup will use Swiss pairings for the first weekend of regional qualifiers. Now, this is the other big bit of news. Swiss rounds are being introduced to the tournament where it was just a losers and winners bracket. Um, so if you lost twice, that was it. Uh, at least with Swiss, you, it's kind of gone along the same lines, but the, the pairing system is a lot better. It's a better system in general. So uh, really welcomed. And I know the community on a whole is really welcoming this. So a massive step forward. Big props to play Pokemon for introducing this. Um, so so Swiss parents will be the first weekend of the regional qualifiers. Players will be required to register their team online before the first regional qualifier date and will need an account with both Discord and Battlefy to participate. So make sure you do get those things. I'm sure that information will be reiterated if you do end up qualifying. Matches will be best of three. Excellent news because the qualifiers, unfortunately, are still going to be best of one. Uh, that online tournament uh, to qualify 
is going to be best of one. Uh, matches will be best of three, like we've just said. Specific details on rules and report times will be available closer to the date. So that information will be uh, released closer to the time. Um, and then advancing players will be contacted via email with the next step and registration information once results are finalized. It is essential that the email address on your Pokemon Trainer Club account is accurate and up to date in order to receive this communication. It kind of goes without saying, right? But just just check it make sure if you're competing in this make sure that your email's up to date because if they're trying to get in contact with you about playing in the tournament and your email's wrong obviously you're not going to get it you're not going to be able to compete and you're probably going to kick off on social media like many players do uh, about not getting uh things right it's your responsibility to make sure that your information is right on the play pokemon page just make sure just check it it's worth doing right uh if you require assistance updating your email please reach out to customer support so you've got help if you need it as well but just make sure that that is up to date but like i say it's kind of self-explanatory right um pokemon players cup regional qualifier schedule so it will be the 19th of June, up to nine rounds of Swiss will be played in the region, uh, each region. Uh, the top 16 players in each region will then advance to the corresponding region finals, which will be held on July the 3rd. Region finals will be a new seeded double elimination bracket based on previous weekend's final Swiss standings. Play occurs until four players remain in each region, which is very exciting, you know? So we're going to have that stage, the region finals, all going to be seeded double elimination bracket. Um, and then the the four top players remaining in that that event will then move on to the global finals uh the players handbook and email communication will provide the specific play time for each region uh which will be announced closer to the date of the event which will be closer to june and july i'm guessing players who use the same team for both phases of regional qualifiers so when you lock in a team for your region qualifier and um, potentially if you progress to the regional finals you're not going to be able to change team until the global finals uh, moving on to the global final. So 16 players in total, four players from each region, top performing players all progressing to this stage of the tournament. Global finals uh, will be a new double elimination bracket. The players will be able to submit a new team list. Like we just mentioned, the global finals will be played on the 17th of July. Um, times to be determined and sent uh, to finalists via email so that will be confirmed near the time um, and eligibility is the final thing that we'll look at final players will not be eligible to participate in regional qualifiers so it will be basically players born in these years obviously junior and senior divisions just make sure you check that out players who reside outside countries not supported by follow and play pokemon rating zones so outside of north america us canada europe latin america oceania will not be able to compete which is a little bit of a shame but like i say it is what it is at the minute uh, players who have not opted into the player Pokemon terms of use, make sure you do that. We mentioned it earlier on in the video. Just make sure you do all the steps before you sign up and before you take part in the tournament. Um, and players who are unable to abide by the VGC tournament rules, which is, again, self-explanatory. No one needs me to go over that, you know. Just play by the rules <laughs> or you're, getting, you're not going to take part. So that's pretty much the bulk of the information. Now, once you've uh, adhered to the terms and conditions, once you've linked your Nintendo account to your Trainer Club account, uh, you're all set to kind of jump into game okay and then once you're in game let's turn the lights on what you want to do is come over to the versus uh, option here on your menu screen in your copy of pokemon sword or shield go on to the battle stadium and you'll be taken on to the kind of the main menu screen here and this is where you want to be going in game to register for the qualifying phases which are going to be on the 9th of april to uh, the 11th um, so you want to come down online tour competitions is the one that you want and uh, here it will say i've registered my card already so participating in an official competition is the one the option that you need it will say uh, accepting entries right now you want to click into that and then it'll take you through all the steps that you need to do to uh, enter yourself into the qualifying stages and you can see here i'm already entered pokemon players cup four qualifier uh, which will be taking place from the 9th of april to the 12th on mine but it is the 11th um, you're going to get 15 games per day on the friday 15 15 on the saturday 15 on the sunday if you can't play them all on one day they can roll into the sunday and you can play 45 games like some mad person on the last day trying to qualify like i say you don't need to complete all the games just get to a certain rank and where you feel safe enough to think i've qualified and then you can give up and just sit back relax and wait for your email so that's what you need to do in game hopefully all the stuff that i've kind of covered is really helpful if you've got any questions reach out in the comment section below let me know because i'm more than happy to kind of help players out getting things sorted but i've went through each step 
specifically in this video to make sure that you know what to do in what order. So don't re register your online game for the qualifier until you've done all the steps with your, your club account, in terms of use and things like that prior to doing uh, that. Okay, so because if you do it afterwards, then there'll be complications. You're gonna have to raise tickets. You might not be an eligible player to uh, even if you get the rating that you want. But very exciting. The Swiss rounds being introduced is a huge step forward. The prizing is a huge step forward. It's going to be very exciting. Obviously, it's really nice to have the continuation of Players Cup 4 as well. Hopefully you found this useful. If you're taking part as well, let me know down in the comment section below. would love to hear if you're planning on taking part in Players Cup 4. Even if you're not in VG, if you're going TCG or Polkin, it's going to be very exciting, whatever you do. But uh, the, the fun continues with Players Cup, so I hope you're all looking forward to it. Hope you found this video useful, and um, I'm going to wrap it up there, friends. So thank you, as always, for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all for another episode very soon. So until then, take care, and bye-bye.